eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light Hi guys, so first I'm starting off by taking my Becca color correcting pot. This is in the color pistachio. The green is used just to get rid of redness, so I'm going to take that with my finger and just put that all over my problem areas before we use my primer. Next I'm going in with my favorite primer. This is the NYX Hydro Touch Touche Dehydration Primer and this is awesome for dry skin so I'm just going to dot that all over my face and then rub it in with clean hands. Then I'm taking my Rainforest of the Sea, this is in the color Medium Honey and I'm buffing that all over with my IT Cosmetics Buffing Brush. Now I'm going in with this beautiful 35P palette by Morphe and I'm taking a fluffy blending brush and I'm going in with this brown color. I'm going to put that all over the lid. It's going to look kind of chunky at first but like I said we are going to blend it out. This is just going to be the base color. I think it looks really pretty when you're using purples to have like a brown peek out at the top. So I just blended that making sure there's no harsh lines and now I'm taking my Makeup Forever setting powder and taking my e.l.f. contour brush and I'm just going to place this on my eyes like this in kind of like an angled motion I guess you could say and this is just going to help so that you can get that cat eye effect and it will just basically clean it up so that you're not getting fallout. I learned this trick from watching a couple of Jaclyn Hill's recent videos and it actually really works. So I'm just going in and blending that out more because you don't want any harsh lines for this look or any look actually. Next I'm going in with an angled fluffy brush and taking this intense purple color from that same palette and I'm just going to be going in the crease and kind of doing windshield wiper motions to kind of get that pigment really in there. So the purple color is going to be in the crease and then we're going to kind of build on it. So it's going to go brown, purple, pink basically. See now when I do that winged effect, it's not going to get on my skin. It's just going to get on the setting powder which is when you brush it off, it's going to create that winged clean effect on your eye. And as you can see too, my eyebrows are already done because I don't need to do those on camera thousands of times because my brow routine has not changed. So I'm just going to keep doing that until the color building is on my eye the way that I want it to and it's very pigmented. So I did both eyes and then I'm going in with that same blending brush I used for the brown color and I'm just going to mix those two together and make sure it's all blended out. Next I'm going in with this flat shader, flat shader brush and taking this color by ColourPop Cosmetics. This is in the color Slave to Pink. It's a sparkly pressed pigment. And I'm just going to put that all over my lid. I'm doing windshield wiper motions instead of patting it on because this pigment, you're supposed to use your hands, but I decided to use a brush, so it's just easier this way. Next I'm going in with that sparkly purple color from the 35P palette and I'm going to put that over with another flat shader brush. This one is a little bit different than the other one though. This is from the Sephora collection from about a year ago. And I'm putting that sparkly purple color over top of the matte purple color. Just to kind of have like that sparkly holiday look. Now I'm going in with another IT Cosmetics blending brush and I'm just going to blend that all together and I will have all the brushes linked on my blog.
And I'm going back in with that purple color and I'm just taking a fluffy blending, or I'm sorry, a fluffy pencil brush and putting that underneath my waterline because of course, as you know, I always put eyeshadow underneath my eyes. It just, I feel like it just works for me with how big my eyes are and I just like how it looks. So I'm gonna use that same matte purple color and put that underneath my eyes. Now I'm just going in with that pink color and I'm just gonna place more pigment on it in case any was lost when we were blending. Now I'm gonna take a fluffy brush that I got from the drugstore and just wipe away the powder and see, now we have a perfect clean cat eye. Now I'm going in with the white matte color from the 35P palette and just taking my Sonia Kashuk brush and just putting that on my brow bone. And I'm taking, of course, my Revlon pencil liner. Or I'm sorry, this is by Rimmel London. It's the Smoke and Shine Exaggerate Black Eyeliner. And now I'm taking my Anastasia cream color in the color Jet and an angled pencil brush and doing my liner. And I'm taking my recent favorite mascara. This is by Urban Decay. It's the Provision. And I'm just going to put that on my top lashes and my bottom and place some false eyelashes on that I'm going to actually do off camera as usual. These are just by Ardell. Now that I have that, those popped on, we're going to put some mascara on the top and then blend out some more because you can never blend enough, especially when you have multiple colors on your eyelids. So I'm taking that same mascara and putting it on my bottom lashes as well. Just a little bit more to make them more dramatic. And the top to make everything blend together. Now I'm going to go in and put that same pencil liner over top of my gel liner and my fake eyelashes just to make sure that you can't tell that they're fake and everything blends together and you don't want to see that line of where the fake eyelash strip goes. Now I'm taking my Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Concealer in the color Light and just placing that underneath my eyes and I'm going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender. Now I'm taking that Makeup Forever HD setting powder and I'm just going to bake my under eyes with that and using my beauty blender. Now I'm just going to swoop that away with the same drugstore brush. I didn't want to bake them for too long because I didn't want it to be just too crazy for this look because we already have a lot going on. Same thing with my forehead. Then I'm taking the color Easy Peasy by ColourPop. This is one of their sculpting sticks. And I'm just going to contour with that, putting it on the lines of my cheekbones when I pucker my lips. Underneath my lip, this is a good effect for looking like your lips are bigger than they are. And I'm taking my Sigma F84 brush. Now I'm going to bake underneath my cheek contour with the same setting powder just to make that contour way more intense. So as I let that bake for a little, I'm going to take my Hula Bronzer by Benefit and my Sephora Bronzing Brush and just do my neck so everything blends together. A little bit on my chin and a little bit on my forehead. Now I'm going to set my contour with the NYX Contour and Highlight Palette with that same Sigma F84 brush. This is my favorite contour brush. As you guys know, I've literally used this in every one of my videos. So this contour is getting pretty intense as you guys can see, but that's how I wanted it for this look. And it always looks more intense on camera than it does in real life, so like I promise that's not so crazy. Then I'm just going to wipe away that setting powder. And I also went in and like took a little bit off my right cheek because it was way too far down. Then I'm going in with my Precision Brush from Sephora and I'm using that darkest color from the Carly Bybell palette to, yes, contour some more. This trick really like intensifies the contour no matter what I do, so I always get compliments on my contour when I use the Carly Bybel palette. 
Then I'm going in, the col going in with the color from ColourPop called Thumper. This is just a nice pink blush. The only thing I don't like about it is it's very hard to get on your brush because it's so pressed. So you really have to dig in there. So as you can see, it's not like that crazy pigmented. So I wanted a little bit more of a pigmentation, so I went in with this color from the Hourglass palette. And now we got some color. Then I'm taking my favorite highlighting palette, the Moonchild palette, and this Anastasia contour er, highlighting brush that I use, and I'm using the color Pink Heart. So it's just like a hot pink highlighter. It's really fun. Then I'm taking this Ambient Lighting Powder. This is in the color Incandescent, and I'm using that same precision brush. Now I'm going in with my Kylie Cosmetics Lip Kit. This is in the color Posy K. And I actually was going to do the liquid lip, but then I just couldn't find it, and I just grabbed the lip gloss, but it still looked just as pretty. So I'm going to line my lips with the same color and then go in with the lip gloss, and I think this pulled the look together so, so well. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like this and you want to see other videos like this. And I will do more Valentine's Day looks before the time comes. This is just my second one, so I want to do at least one more. So let me know in the comments what you guys would want to see. And I will talk to you guys in my next video.